people uh, with their head uh, very far, okay? So, what I want uh, is the pressure to come from below up, and it's mostly on the near side, okay? So, the pressure is not uh, in the middle, definitely it's not uh, on this side, okay? So, I see a lot of people here, their head really uh, far here, and try. Right. So, I'm not smashing him with gravity, okay? It's not, uh, it's not this, okay? It's a, uh, let's see, it's not, sit up for a second. So, my hips are very close to the ground. My chest is uh, on his near side. And then this is the pressure, okay? So from here, hips and, and, and toes, okay? This is the pressure right there in the fly. So let's say with, with a person. Okay, so on here, you get this, right? Collapsing the spine. Now I'm dropping really low. See, my, my hips are uh, on the floor. My chest is here on the this area of his uh, chest, and now from here, now I climb the pressure. This is terrible, right? Super terrible. Okay, again, I can add, add the shoulder more, and then from here, and this is uh, the pressure that we need. Okay, someone else uh, wants to feel it? All right, so say the can report from a 1 to 10 how much pressure you feel, right? So this is just kind of a basic uh, pressure, right? Just from the top, just gravity. Uh, how much? Maybe two. Maybe two. Okay? So now I'm uh, taking this, bring it, twisting the spine, pressing the shoulder, and now dropping down. And now from here, now I'm applying pressure with uh, driving with my with my hips and my shoulder. How, does this, how much this feels? Five. Okay, so that's five. Okay, so you, you don't want to uh, to kill yourself here, right? So I'm not trying to uh, submit him from here. So I don't want to squeeze with the almost strength, right? I don't want to do something like this, right? So here and then you can do it maybe for five seconds and then now I'm exhausted. Okay, so that's not the goal. The goal is uh, to control him, not let him move, but without me exerting energy. So the question we're working on is that. So yeah, we will deal with the frame, etc. later. But uh, in, in this case, if, if it's here, so uh, its main purpose is uh, it doesn't bother me as far as control, right? So uh, it's going to bother me when I'm trying to move around for submission, etc. Because it's blocking me, here, right? I want to move here. So he, yeah. can, he can go under the body. Yes, yes. So, so there are all kind of uh, escapes here, right? We're not dealing with all the situation here, situations here, right? So in this case. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, for as far as the pressure is uh, concerned, this is not going to bother me too much, right? So yeah, let's try to uh, stop me with this one with pressure, right? So th this is going to make him much weaker, right? Just, just this thing, right? So yeah, try to uh, interrupt with this hand. To get a photo to face. So here. Okay, so driving forward, mm -hmm. and then uh, now it's, it's a lot of, a lot of pressure here on his ribs, right? So, twisting here, this is a uh, pretty, uh, pretty bad for him. Okay. No, I'm saying it's a legit escape, but I'm saying now just for a plank, it, it doesn't, uh, it can't stop the pressure. That's what I'm saying. It's not that uh, something you should ignore. You should uh, consider it and uh, deal with it when it comes. Coming, but not uh, in this case. Okay. All right. So. Uh, do a, a couple more and then uh, focus on uh, really staying low. The pressure should come on the near side. Okay, and then, uh, and then uh, when, when you're pulling the lats, that's uh, the, the last uh, detail to focus on. Right, so uh, you want to uh, grab the, the, the lat there. So it's, it's not from the shoulder here, right? It's, it's not this. It's really getting getting deep. You see, and I'm also, uh, I like to kind of lift him a little bit to make room because if he's flat, Right, so I can't really uh, get here easily, so I'm going to lift him a little bit, get a good grip on the lat, and then pull him back, twist him, and then start applying the pressure. Okay? Yes. Okay.